What's up everyone? Tonight's target is one that I did last I did this target last year. And this is the soul number, which is IC 1848. I've been doing a lot of reading over the past couple weeks about Pixing Sight and just different posts. I'm looking at pictures on Astro Bin. I kept thinking I might want to upgrade to a re uh, triplet refractor, but I'm going to hold on to this doublet just a little bit longer because I came across a guy or an Astro Bin that's got the exact same setup. Different mount, but um, same uh, Skywatcher ED80 doublet refractor with the same uh, mono camera that I have, same filter wheel and everything, and his pictures are so much better when you zoom in, you don't hardly see any artifacts, any uh, pixelated spots, and everything is very sharp. So I'm sitting there wondering what can I do to get my pictures better. So I've been doing a whole lot of reading as far as uh, dealing with stacking, um, noise reduction, and things like that, and I've tried some different techniques from um, different things I've been reading. There's a lot of stuff out there on this, but it takes so long to you know, dig deep. I'm also doing dithering every three frames now. I was doing every eight frames, so now I'm doing dither every three, three frames to help help reduce some of the um, noise and things like that. I'm gonna give it a shot. So tonight's the first time I'm trying this. Last weekend I tried, um, I did up my game to, um, who was it? I have to actually click on one of these to remember what I did. Tonight I'm doing um, gain of 139 offset 21. But last week I did a gain of 200 offset 50 and I had some problems with my software frames where you start stacking and things would fail out and so I wasn't sure what I was doing wrong but I did do some new calibration frames on everything for the settings for here 139 and 21 did all new calibration frames for bias flats darks I did the same thing for the gain of 200 over and 50 but I'm going back to the 139 over 21 and give that a shot tonight because did a lot of reading First of all, let me just take a little a look at one of these HA frames. Can't really see it too much, but um, this is the nebula right here. Oh, another one. This is the nebula right here. Can't really see it too much. Mean readout is like 475. It is a little haze outside tonight, but I'm not sure if that's going to affect everything. But I went back to this different gain and offset settings, did all new calibration frames, and I'm doing different um, noise reduction with Pixing Sight. And it's basically dealing with ACNR, I think that's what it is. I can't remember because it's not on this computer. But I did different settings as far as masking and things like that to try to mask the stars better and things like that. So, matter of fact, here is here's a, here's a picture of the rosette. Last week I did this just in HA. I don't know if you can see it in here, but um, if I zoom in, my old rosette picture from last year, little spaces all up in here where I have the mouse pointer was like small black pixels like all through here you had to almost use clone stamp to get rid of but it was if I zoom in you really can see like here's one like right here to it's a couple here but it was ten times worse than this so I've been getting better as far as uh, post-processing trying to get that kind of stuff out if you zoom out it does look a lot better and this is just HA this is only 20 frames of HA at two minutes long from last weekend so hopefully this weekend it's a little bit better. I only have maybe six hours tonight of clear skies and the clouds coming. So I'm doing just two hours for the soul nebula. I'm just doing all I have time for is 20, 20, and 20 for um, HA, sulfur, and oxygen. And by that time, um, the rosette nebula is in view. And I only have two hours for the rosette in view before it dips behind my house. So rosette, I'm just doing, um, I'm trying to do oxygen three again and sulfur. I'm going to do just, just 20 frames each. 120 seconds and add that to the HA and see what I can pull out. When I add it in total, it's about three hours, a little bit, about three and a half hours worth of uh, work all together when I add it all up. So I'm going to give this a shot and see how it comes out. Um, guiding is 0.77, which is good for my AVX mount because, you know, mount's not the best, but it's working for me. So it's pretty good for the AVX mount. And what else I have right now? But you almost can see the smoke in the sky, the haze. A little bit through here well anyway so that's all I have for right now just trying to get better at the Pixing Sight I want to try to get as good as I can with post processing before I make a decision on upgrading to a triplet I'm gonna try to see if I could get better and better with this doublet so if I get better with the doublet that means when I get a triplet it should be even better because I don't want to just upgrade to a triplet and then realize my, my pictures aren't looking good because I have not got my skills up 
with the post processing. So there's not a lot of information out here. Some information, but some of the stuff takes forever to read on and try to understand. And so many steps and steps and steps. And I don't have a lot of time. I got a lot of stuff going on inside of work and outside of work. But that's all I got right now. I'm trying to make it work. So stay tuned.